Hello, angel boy. <laughs> okay. Just got a bit refluxy, actually, didn't you, Gabe? Did you get, did you get a bit refluxy? Not, it's not nice, is it? It's okay. It's not a lot of reflux, but it takes us by surprise, doesn't it? Am I a bit blurry? Because is it focusing on bits and bobs in the background? Because that is what our life consists of in the morning. Isn't it, Gaby baby? CBBs? Hold on, let me just get him out. Look at this big boy. I mean, have you ever seen such a big baby? Are you going to have a smile? Hello. Who's this gorgeous boy? Is that you? Can you see yourself? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, bless you. It's taking a bit longer than I anticipated to get this started. Hold on, let's put you on the map with some of your little friends. Okay, let's turn the radio on now. Because we're not really that into bits and bobs. And I only really have the telly on for a little bit in the morning. And now we play. Right, so, wow. Good morning, everyone. It's been a while. But I thought I would just try and do a vlog before Christmas. Definitely not into Vlogmas. But I was conscious that I hadn't, haven't really vlogged for a, a few weeks now. And that's mostly... Well, I've been quite busy working. I've been doing hair to make a little bit of money pre-Christmas. And also just to get back into it a bit and people have been in lockdown. So I have like a client base that I don't really want to lose, obviously. I don't, I, I've talked about this before. I haven't, I have gone back to work, but not in the sense that it's a pre like, I just pick and choose how often I do it basically. But I have been doing it more purely because we were locked down for the whole of November so I couldn't and also um, now it's Christmas and people want their hair done so that's what I've been doing and outside of that not much else has been going on but I have got the Christmas tree up so I felt like I wanted to just get a vlog in with the old Christmas tree some of you may remember the, the great Christmas decoration debacle last year when I discovered that I had probably thrown out loads of um, decoration well thrown out all my decorations in a move, in a rage at some point because I realised I had no decorations, I had to rebuy them all last year. Anyway, we've got the same ones up there. I've also got a special new one for little Gaby Baby that our friend made us. So I'll show you that when I can be bothered to get up off the floor. Yeah, I thought I would just get this vlog off to a start. Nothing much is going to happen, I'll just warn you. But I've got a couple of free days today and tomorrow. So I thought, hell, why not vlog? Hainsey's still sleeping um, and he's going to be away tonight because he's working. So that's also why I thought I'll vlog. And we've also got a couple of exciting deliveries today. <laughs> and they're only going to be exciting if you're a mum. <laughs> so once again, basically all content from now is only of interest, I think, if you're a mum. And, and actually I say that. A lot of you have been so sweet and said that you're interested in mum and baby stuff even though you're not a mum or a baby. So this is what we do in the mornings. I get up with him. We have a lovely time, don't we, Gabe? So we get up, we have a bottle, and then this is the time... Are you doing a poo? <laughs> What's that face for? He's just gone very serious. First thing in the morning and before bed is the time that I let Gabe watch telly. Um, and that is purely for convenience for myself. And also um, at night it's quite... Um, we've got... I think I've mentioned about this Hey Bear Sensory YouTube channel. He really likes... Um, this video on that and at night he can get a little bit fractured so it just really helps calm him down before we have a bath. We get up and we have a bottle, don't we? And we watch Go Jetters on CBBS, and then mummy can make a cup of tea and have some breakfast and then we go on the mat and have a little play and then I turn the radio on. But whilst I'm making breakfast he is in this, the baby Bjorn, which he loves now. When we first got it I think he was a little bit young for it and he didn't really like being in it. He wasn't that bothered but now like We've got this, we bought this thing, this is extra to go on top of it. And it's actually a bit of a rip off, it's like 35 quid. But he really, really likes this. And I as a mum like that because when I sit him in it to watch the TV, he actually plays with them more than he's watching the TV. Um, so yeah, he started really interacting and like, I can see he's trying to grab for them. Aren't you? Getting that hand-eye coordination going. Yeah, you are. I've got another couple of new little couple of bits again he's not really into uh 
toys too much. But on his mat, like he started grabbing this here. He started grabbing that with his little hand and pulling it towards him. Can you see him grabbing it? You're doing so well, Gabe. Sorry, just excuse these <laughs> pajamas. But yeah, you like that, don't you? Look how happy you are. So he likes doing that. And then also recently, one of our, one of my mum's friends, who's like our surrogate grandma, basically, because my mum lives down in Somerset, so she's a couple of hours away. So we haven't seen her since like October, which has been horrible. Um, oh, we need to FaceTime her today, actually. Anyway, we meet one of her friends regularly. Well, when we're not in lockdown. She actually bought us, a uh, little Peter Rabbit, um, one of those comforter things. So this is new and we really love that. And also, Sophie the giraffe, he absolutely loves this. <laughs> he just, he loves this noise, which is a bit annoying, but this is for teething. They can chew on this if they want to, but he just really likes looking at it. He just smiles as soon as he hears that noise. It's so funny. So there we go, that's an update from us here at, uh, oh yeah, here at almost four months old. Oh my god, when's he, four? he's four months. Oh my god, you're four months tomorrow. Oh my god, my big boy. Yeah, I mean, can you believe that? Anyway, that's the vlog off to a start. And yeah, here we go. Okay, I'll just put Gabe down for his nap. Now I, it is time for a cup of tea. This piece of hair. I don't know if it's from pregnancy, but it just goes into this curl. Not a cute look. Anyway, the first of my exciting deliveries has come. Actually, it's not the first. The first one did actually come yesterday, but it's downstairs and I haven't gone to collect it yet. God, I look really pale in that light. So, I think I spoke to you about Gabe's for. Oh, why is that on there? Sorry. Sorry, I'm here. About Gabe's formula situation, because I was using a formula called Kendermill. I then don't think I updated you on that situation because Kendermill was fine. However, it's hard-ish to get hold of because you have to order it. It's stocked in Sainsbury's and Waitrose in theory, but not in the ones near me. I discovered, um, after looking on various mum websites, because that's what you do when you are a mum, that the Sainsbury's formula, is exactly the same as the Kendall one. Same, it's made by Kendall Care, NutriCare or something. I can't remember what the company is, but the guys that make Kendamil. And on one of the forums, one of the mums has said that she'd emailed them to see if it was the same, and they said it basically was, but some of the ingredients may be sourced elsewhere. But basically, this tin is seven pounds, and Kendamil is 10 pounds, or if you get the organic version, it's 14 pounds. Um, and this is much easier to get hold of. Also, I thought, um, so we switched over to this one. The reason I loved Kendermill and also the Sainsbury's one is because when we're using Aptamil, it smells a bit sour and the longer you leave it out for, it kind of starts to separate and just looks like shit, basically. So you, you do feel a bit like, what is what am I putting into my baby? Whereas this and the Kendermill one look and feel and mimic milk. Let me just show you, actually. This is Gabe's bottle that he had this morning and you can see... Uh, there's nothing on the sides whereas if this was Aptamil there'd probably be lots of like powdery residue on the side and I was mixing it properly and everything but just every single time when you leave it out it just goes a bit skanky but this you can see doesn't there's just a little bit of milk in the bottom but there's nothing really on the sides apart from like bubbles of the foam anyway yes. and it that doesn't smell if I take the lid off and wash it it won't have a sour smell like Aptamil used to have anyway so I was using this, quite happy with it. However, the last couple of times I've gone into Sainsbury's, there was only one tin of this left, so I bought it, because uh, we needed a formula. Then I went in this week to try and get some more, and I went in twice, and the first time it was all out of stock, and there was a gap where that milk should be. The second time, there was no gap, and there was no price label for that one. They only had the Sainsbury's own brand, stage two and stage three milk, and it was all, it all been moved so now there's not even a gap for the stage one and it was in the evening so I couldn't find anyone to talk to to ask about stock but basically I feel like that's harder to get hold of because also I try to order it in my Sainsbury shop online out of stock so something either they're discontinuing it or they're having a problem with stock but either way you can't just discontinue something like formula <laughs> especially stage one formula because it's not like he's eating anything else so 
it can just be a bit stressful when um, you can't find the formula that you use. Anyway, so on that note, <laughs> this is a very long-winded way of saying I'm now back to Kendermill and they have a subscription service. So my friend Katie that ref um, recommended Kendermill to me said about this subscription service and so because of not being able to get the Sainsbury's one I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to subscribe to Kendermill because my plan had been to buy like four tubs of formula every month on my shop and then be stocked up for the month. Uh, but that didn't happen because it was out of stock. But Kendermill does do that. So my first subscription has arrived and yeah, we are just ordering four tubs of Kendermill every month. And it's 37, no, and it's 40 pounds because it's 10 pounds a, 10 pounds a tub and it's free posted. And yeah, you just get your four tubs of Kendermill for the month. Just overlaps until you cancel it. Um, so I think that's such a good idea. I would never have thought to do a formula subscription or, or anything like that because I'm just, well, I just didn't know that these things were available, but now that I know that they are, um, yeah, on first look, Kendermill's quite hard to get hold of, but actually, if you are using it regularly and you do your subscription, you're never going to be caught. You're, oh, you're never going to be caught short. So now we are fully stocked for formula, and I don't need to worry. Oh, excuse Gabe's retching just there in the background. He's he puts his hand so far in his mouth that he retches. He seems fine. It doesn't seem to bother him, but it's a bit like hun, chill out. Anyway, he's dressed for the day. Hipster baby. You can see he's Ga getting Gabe, getting in there. Gabe, you for your outfit today. This is Daddy's choice. So we're sort of taking it in turns with outfits um, to the big shop recently. Hainsey's just discovered the joy of shopping for a baby, for shopping for a baby's wardrobe. So essentially, we've been, we've been covering bases. So what happened initially was Mary did a shop. I say it like it's food. It's, <laughs> we're talking about clothing here. And I love the clothes. I did love them. There was a theme though. All the friends, all Mary's friends noticed there was a theme, beige. <laughs> And variations of cream, essentially. And and that's true. But also, like, from this outfit today, and I'm sure mums out there would agree, is that generally, mm. baby wear is not pitched on a darker tone. So everything is, like, the, all the sleep suits are always white, vests are always white. Yeah, but I'm not talking about sleep stuff. I'm just no, 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 but I'm, so, so I'm saying therefore. Yeah. But just clothes in general. Yeah. I feel like not a lot of babies wear very, very dark clothes until they become toddlers, is all I'm just saying. And so now that we've delved into this, obviously, Hainsey just basically wants me to pick him up and say he's bought a new dimension to Gabriel's wardrobe, which he has. Because now looking at this, I'm like, he just looks great in dark, in dark, dark colours. colours. He does. And, and to be fair, to be, you wouldn't to be... think to put a baby in black. You can see why people don't put babies in black. I'm not having an issue with that. I'm not saying yeah. there's anything wrong with you putting him in beige. I was just saying, I noticed he was always in beige. So I thought, <laughs> why is he only in beige? Why would he only be in beige? Why is he, why is he, why is he dressed in uniform? <laughs> Who's he taking after? Maybe mum's emulating her style in the babe. So I anyway. thought, okay, we'll do that. So we've branched out a little bit. Yeah. We've got a nice here dark go. brown here. Honestly, I came nice in wrap. after he dressed him in this. I was like, he just looks a vision in these darker tones. He looks great in dark grey as well. It's great in dark grey. He, like he looks great grey. in every colour, but obviously... He does look in every colour. We... Are you going to show off your outfit? <gasps> this is me. You look me. like a little LA hipster, Gabe. You're, like, you're about to hit the Goon yeah. Beach or something. <laughs> this jumper looks massive in this viewfinder. <laughs> it looks very square. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> you can't really see the it outlines of it. It doesn't look as big. I mean, it's oversized. <laughs> But the outfit doesn't look as much like it's drowning him as it did on camera just there. He loves it. Do you love your outfit, Gaby? Can you see yourself? Okay. So there we go. That's his. So where's this from, Daddy? Should we? This is Zara. Do you remember? All Zara head to toe? All Zara. Yeah. The only thing is, actually, and I think I've just maybe answered the question as to why they don't wear dark colours, if he refluxes all over that. True. You're going to see it. <laughs> so, hashtag... It's real life it. probs. It's true. It's true if you, if you get on the light but you just, on the show anyway. So it's, it's, I mean, yeah. It's a wear life. You just sort of deal with it, don't you? That's why we wash things every day. Yeah, it is. Um, so today really is the day for exciting deliveries because you will see behind me I have this very tall thing here. Um, and it's actually a play mat for Gabe. And I knew it would be quite big, but I do feel like I should have like taken notice of the measurements. 
because there were actually two sizes available to order and I went for the bigger size. And it's basically, a, did I just say it's a play mat and it's from this brand, Totter and Tumble. And it's, it's gorge. I mean, it looks so nice. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's a nice sage green and it's got one print on one side and another print on the other side. And it's basically like a foam mat because I feel like, so obviously we have wood floors on here. I don't think they're wood, but you know what I mean. So as he's getting, oh, are you dribbling everywhere? As he's getting older, I feel like the play mat that we have, like the play, the baby gym, is a bit too small for him to do anything else on other than just kind of lay on it and like grab the things above him. And we, I know that we're getting a few more toys for him for Christmas from various family members and such. And um, just for him to do tummy time and stuff, we just need something now i think to put him on we are gonna have to kind of rearrange things i think because this play mat's so big and my theory was oh you can roll it up so then we can travel with it like if we go to someone's house or go away or something but just the sheer length of it i'm not quite sure whether to exchange it for the smaller one so I don't even know if I should really take this out. Maybe I should check the measurements of the smaller one and then decide what to do from there. So yeah, this is actually TBC. I don't know if I'm gonna get it out now. Uh, this is the second delivery, which I will actually unpack most of now. Can you see that there? It says kit and kin. This is also, this is another subscription that I decided to try. So we have been using the Natey Nappies, Natty Nappies, um, and you can actually get a subscription with them. But I thought I would just try Kit and Kim because they're a bit cheaper. I thought I'd try their wipes. We actually use the water wipes, which I find are really good. And I, I did try the Natey own brand wipes. And they're just not as watery. And I don't find... I don't think any other wipes are as good as water wipes, in my opinion. Um, but I thought we may as well give these a go. Because if I can get these on subscription as well, that would be really helpful. Because I'd like to just order his nappies, wipes and nappy bags all in one but i think the nappy bags oh really i think the nappy bags were out of stock um on kit and kin so for some reason i couldn't add them to my subscription i know i was really annoyed as well yeah i was really annoyed too so i have to continue to buy those separately but should they come back online it would be great to have those included because like with his formula i think it might be Okay, I think it's time for a nap, so I'll pick this up in a second. <laughs> Here is my gorgeous boy. Who's my gorgeous? Here my gorgeous. Gabe's in bed. I've just poured myself a glass of orange wine. Which, I'll be honest, I'm not mad about. <laughs> I tried this. You might see if any of you watched my gift guide video that I mentioned this in it. Um, if none of you know about that video, I did a gift guide video for new mums in collaboration with Nord Green, um, who I've collaborated with previously. Eternally grateful um, to them for working with me because obviously in these times and being a new mum, every little helps and they are such an incredible brand. Anyway, um, I featured this in it because one of the one of my suggestions for a gift is alcohol of the new mom's choice and I'd really wanted to try this when I was heavily pregnant in the summer and couldn't and I saw it everywhere so so I recently discovered in my town we have like a very cute what, what, what do you call it like a boutique wine shop focus of it I thought was beer but they now do um, like natural wines and uh, not just natural wines but they're that kind of wine shop that they guess niche drink I suppose I'm not sure quite it's very late it's not it's not very late I've had a long day I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to say but yeah they do a variety of wine that you can't get in the supermarket basically and so I thought let me go in and see if they've got this particular orange wine and they did and he said it's a, it's he showed me another wine, which he said was like an entry point into orange wine to try first. Whereas this is like the orangest of orange wine. And I didn't really understand what that meant. And now that I've had it, I think I do. So I feel like I'd quite like to try the entry point one because I might enjoy that a bit more. I just find this, as it's been open for longer, I actually feel like it's nicer than it was initially, but I do find it quite dry. 
I don't love dry wine particularly. I just got sold on the branding. So anyway, I'm gonna drink this uh, not so great orange wine and I'm just sterilizing Gabe's dummies. <laughs> and I thought I would just pick up and finish off today's vlog um, because I started talking to you about my kit, my kit and kin uh, delivery. I've got Zoella on in the background. Oh, nice on my little tree, Zoe, little plant over there. Play mat. <laughs> um, I started talking about this delivery, didn't I, that I got. And speaking of exciting deliveries, I've also just ordered a pizza, so <laughs> that's very exciting too. So we've just done bath and bed. Gabe is an absolute angel. I couldn't ask for a better baby. Like, he just, I have no anxieties around bedtime anymore. Um, we get an evening, it's just, he's just wonderful. He's just a wonderful baby. I just, I love him so much, oh God. Anyway, every mum loves their baby so much, but it honestly, I cry sometimes <laughs> when I look at him, because I just think, I just, I'm, I just, I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel so content. I love being a mum, I love having a son. That rhymed, um, I just love it. Anyway, I could wax lyrical all night about how much I love being a mum, but I'm gonna stop and talk about this yes so i think i mentioned that i'm trying the baby wipes and we'll see how they go the packaging doesn't feel as heavy as the wet wipes do i'll be honest so i don't have high hopes for these but you know you can never have too many wipes and then yeah i ordered the box of nappies so i have subscribed to this even though i haven't tried the nappies but you can stop the subscription at any point i thought i would try this subscription my friend katie does this and yeah i just think not having to think about when I'm running out of nappies, having to go to Sainsbury's and getting them, adding them onto the big shop. Um, yeah, formula and nappies and things like that. To, if you can get a subscription, I think it's such a good idea. So we're giving it a go, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably either stick with this one or switch to the natey ones if um, I don't think these nappies are that good. Yeah, they're the kit and kin. These are size three nappies for my little honey bun. Rabbit and bear. Um, so they've got cute little... Like you can see on this little baby model here, they've got cute little animal faces on the back. Adorable. And the natey ones say like happiness on them and I love nature and it, they're just really cute. Um, so anyway, uh, these are pretty much exactly the same I think as the natey ones in terms of like the brand ethos. I also got a load of vacuum pack bags delivered today because I need to start packing Gabe's clothes away that are too small for him keep them for hopefully baby number two and um but yeah other than that i'm gonna wait for my pizza drink my orange wine wait up to give gabe a dream feed at 10 30 and then off to bed i go oh i feel like i left you on a bit of a cliffhanger the last vlog i did about gabe's routine did i did i ever mention after that Honestly, so much has changed since that vlog. Things change so quickly with a baby, but yeah, we pretty much have a, a quite a good routine now in terms of day naps, sleeping through the night. He doesn't sleep through the night. He wakes like once for a feed, um, but we've got the day naps down, it seems. Bath and bed is going well. So yeah, I'll talk a bit more about it as a routine tomorrow. Again, don't know if this is interesting to anyone, but it's interesting to me. So <laughs> that's why I like to talk about it. No, I know it is interesting for some people, but for the majority of you, I don't know that it is. I know that it is helpful for some people. And in terms of social, I'm just going off on one now. In terms of social media, what gives me purpose with carrying on doing this is talking about mum things because I get such great feedback. Even if it was only five mums that found this helpful, that's why I do it because I feel like it's just, I found it so, so valuable to find people talking about my concerns as a mother on social media or things that I'm going through or just people that I feel like I can relate to as a mum. So that's becoming more of a priority to me in terms of this platform and being that for someone. Uh, as I say, that's what gives me purpose with this and I feel like with social media, if you lack purpose, that's when it can kind of go, you can end up having a bad relationship with it um, and perhaps fall in and out of love with it. Um, so I'm saying um a lot. I, d I don't know why I feel a bit awkward talking about this, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at with social media, just briefly. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I'd say that, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs>
Um, it is Friday morning. Same jumper as yesterday. This is just what happens. This is actually new. It's from And Other Stories. I treated myself. And it's just a normal beige uh, knitted jumper. And I really like it. Anyway, I have just been sorting out my Christmas cards. Because... I'm a mum now and that's what you do, you send Christmas cards. It's always it's something I always want to do every year and I never get around to it. And it's more because I bought a book of stamps, not realising that I already had a book of stamps. So then I just had loads of stamps and I don't use them that often. So I thought I'm just going to send Christmas cards because I've got the stamps to do it. And stamps are expensive so <laughs> I thought why not. Anyway, so I've just been putting those together. And I will post them today because it's the 18th. So I'm hoping they'll get there in time. I should have done this like beginning of the week. And I meant to, but you know how things get. Gabe is currently napping. He's been napping for just over an hour, which is great. I can't quite believe it, but he slept through last night. Um, I said I would update you on his routine. Um, but yes, he, I, he slept straight through and was barely fussing through the night and slept till quarter to eight. And as it was happening, I couldn't believe it. He stirred around one o'clock, which he generally tends to do. And at about half five, he did wake up. Uh, and then I just let him sleep on me, which I do tend to do at that time. Sometimes he'll wake up um, and it's just easier for him to sleep on me. I know that, that people say he can get into bad habits, but because he majoritively sleeps in his cot in the night, I don't mind doing that too much. And also it's just a bit like, oh, I like having my little baby sleep on me a bit because he doesn't do it so much these days and I know that there'll be a time when that will stop. So anyway, it's just a, me indulging as well. So um, so I don't know if this will last, but yeah, I woke up thinking, oh my God, has he not fed all night? And as I say, wasn't particularly noisy throughout the night either, which he can be. Um, so routine wise with Gabe, I meant, I think the last time we spoke, I was starting to do a proper bedtime routine and trying to also sort out the day naps because I just wasn't really keeping track um, of the naps and didn't really have a structure. I've always followed, I think I said this before, I have always followed like a, in the day, a routine of feed, play, sleep. That's about as far as a routine went and having him be awake for that time, about an hour and a half. Sometimes he struggles to get to an hour and a half, although now he's starting to sometimes go to two hours but yeah, that was my structure for the day. Now, we seem to have a definite structure in place, which I feel really happy about. And I feel like I don't really have to think about it too much in the day now. His first two naps always go quite well. This morning nap does, and then his lunchtime nap seems to. And then the afternoon naps can sometimes go a bit off kilter. But actually, the last few days they've been going really well. So he currently does four naps a day. I make sure that his last nap finishes by 6.30. Sometimes he wakes up before that. Um, his last feed I make sure is no later than five. Uh, and that will depend on when he's woken up in the morning and throughout the day. I feed him generally every two to four hours. Um, but that can vary depending on how long he sleeps. All that, there's, it's, I'm quite flexible really. It's not like a stringent feed at this time. I just kind of know the time that he's kind of do a feed and that's flexible kind of half an hour each way I suppose. So that's what we do in the day and then we do a bedtime routine so I now we do bed and bath between seven and eight and it just seems to be going quite well. I feel like he we definitely are able to have an evening together. I feel very confident about that. Sometimes he might stir after you put him down a couple of times but nothing really too troublesome. So it's usually kind of quarter past, half past seven that we'll start, that we're kind of in the room giving him a bottle because sometimes bath time will be about 10 to seven. It depends how fractious he is, to be honest. Bath time is generally maybe 10 to seven, seven o'clock. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll get him ready, give him a bottle and put him to bed. Last night, the thing that I did that was different, well, the last couple of nights, I've, we've been trying to give him basically as much milk as possible as that last bedtime feed. And last night he had almost nine ounces, um, which is about 210 mils, which is crazy because he usually will have about six ounces, which is about 180 mils generally is his feed. Sometimes I'll have a little bit more, sometimes slightly less. The last couple of nights at bedtime, we've been just been giving him, as I say, more like eight, nine ounces. 
So I've been trying to do that every night now, um, which is why I make sure his last feed is no later than five, because then it means that he's ready to have that much milk before he goes to bed. He's then asleep around half seven. I then go in and do a dream feed at usually about 10.30, but you can do a dream feed any time between half nine and 11. I try to push it as late as possible, but sometimes he does wake up, so that's why 10.30 works, because he's often still very much asleep at that point. I'll do the dream feed and then put him back down, and then I go to bed. Um, and then what had been happening is he it would vary. He'd sometimes sleep until two or three, but more often he was starting to wake around half 12, one, and have a feed and then he would sleep through and then kind of wake up around five-ish and it was a bit it wasn't annoying but I was a bit like oh I've done this dream feed at 10 30 why is he waking at one um but then because he was going from one until the morning without a feed I thought it wasn't too much of an issue so I'll just go with it I try not to worry too much about these things because I know they will sort themselves out eventually but yeah he Last night, he just slept all the way through, which is just insane. So I definitely feel like we're gonna keep going with upping the milk before bed. I've also upped his milk slightly throughout the day. He just seems ready to have a bit more because whenever I give him his bottle, he's he doesn't stop sucking, basically. He's still going when there's no milk left. So that kind of indicates to me to start making more. And the health is to just say, always prepare 30 mils slash an ounce more than you think they're gonna have, just because then you've got the overflow if they want it. And it's always much better for them to have more milk throughout the day um, because all the kind of routine things that I read do say that their milk intake in the day does affect their sleep at night. And that seems to have worked because he definitely had much more milk throughout the day yesterday as well as his bedtime feed than he's ever had before. And he slept really well. So we'll see. It may not last. You have to remain open when you have a baby. But the fact that he's done it, I feel really happy and like he's just such a good boy he's doing so well so that's that's been my night really I slept really quite well <laughs> so that was great and then we got up this morning had a lovely little morning together and as I say now he's napping and he's due a feed around 11 um so I'm anticipating maybe he'll wake up in like 10 15 minutes I don't know we'll see um so yeah, that's us. And then I was going to see my friend B today, but she's a bit hungover. I think she had a Christmas party last night, which was outside, by the way, in case anyone's worried about that stuff. Um, so we're not seeing her today. She's quite hungover. But I have to wait in anyway for the totter and tumble playmat to get picked up. I told you about that, didn't I? Or did I? I'm sending it back. I think I did. I've probably repeated myself about 500 times throughout this whole vlog. Um, but yes, I have to wait in for that to get picked up by Parcel Force anyway, so it's fine. And then once that's picked up, um, we will go out for a walk and I will post my Christmas cards. Um, I'm going to FaceTime my mum when Gabe is up and we're going to say hello to her because we haven't FaceTime for a few days. And that's about it. That's the agenda. Um, but I couldn't be more happy about that agenda. I just really love these days with him where we just don't really have much to do, but you know we kind of do do as we please it's so nice I remember my mum saying this to me um when I was pregnant and she said you know it is difficult with kids but I still look back now and those were the happiest times that I can remember I, I just remember being ha so happy um and content when you guys were young because I just loved getting up every day and deciding what we were going to do and yes it could be a bit difficult with feeds and all that kind of stuff and coordinating everything but ultimately the fact that she made the schedule she decided what we did every day was so nice and I definitely feel like that like I just love this time I just wish we could do more baby things <laughs> like go swimming and do baby groups although I think we can do baby groups I haven't heard that one I booked on Monday I haven't heard anything from and I was trying to decipher these bloody tier three rules and it looks like you can do baby groups under those rules but I'm still not 100% clear but anyway hopefully I can still do that on Monday but there we go that is um today <laughs> and yeah I need to charge this battery um oh, you smiling you're watching the telly Gorgeous baby angel, gorgeous baby boy. I'm showing you Gabriel's outfit today. An outfit that he almost just shut all over, but we caught it in time, didn't we, Gabe? Show off your outfit. Um, so these Christmas leggings 
are part of his Christmas outfit. I got these from River Finley and Friends and it comes with a bodysuit that goes with these, but I like to wear them separately. And then we just have this top, don't we, Gabe? Can I just put your little hands down, my love? Well done. And it's just got like two little buttons and a pocket. And it's quite baggy. This is actually, oh no, this is three to six months. So I just rolled up the sleeves. And then we like a baggy top with leggings, don't we, Gabe? I would usually put socks on him to stop his little fitsies getting cold, but I obviously forgot today. But there we go. Ever so excited to be going out, aren't we, Gabe? Yeah. Just posted off my Christmas cards. And I'm just walking down a very Christmassy road, actually, as you can see. Um, I'll probably have to wait till I get to the end so you can see it in full force, but there's just lights outside most of the houses. But I think little Gabies having a snooze so we're just going to continue walking this to the river have a little saunter and then go home lovely christmas lights everywhere hello everyone um so it's been a couple of de well a few days actually since i vlogged and it's gone on for absolutely ages so i'm on here just to wrap this up um i don't think i need to kind of go over what's happened but we uh, we're in tier four where we live and that's just a bit rubbish. It doesn't actually change our Christmas plans because it was always just going to be the three of us. However, it's just sort of given morale a bit of a dent. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's a bit rubbish, but I'm not going to dwell on that. I just wanted to come on and say, I really hope that you enjoyed this ridiculously long vlog and that having a little dose of little baby gabies maybe cheered you up for Christmas. Um, I think I'm getting this up like literally just in the nick of time before Christmas. It'll probably be Christmas Eve by the time it goes up. Um, but I wanted to quickly show you, I realised I never showed you his um, ball ball that our friend made for us for his first Christmas. Um, so this is it here. It says Gabe's first Christmas on it and then it's got like a little bit of foliage inside and a nice like green ribbon. My friend B made that. I'll put her details down below. Also, my mum got this made for us. Uh, by someone that she knows and it's got a lion on it uh, because Gabe is a Leo. I've just realised my hair looks awful. And I mean, now we have lots of presents under the tree because again, my mum sent up, well actually my dad sent some, I've had aunties and uncles send some over and my mum sent some. My mum also made Gabriel a stocking that we need to hang up and fill and a Christmas sack, which I can't pick up because it's got gifts in it. Um, but it's got like a drawstring and it's got his initial on it and yeah she she made this I keep telling her she needs to like open an Etsy shop because she's also knitted oh did I show you these little booties that she knitted for him I showed them on Instagram and so many people uh, messaged asking about them I told her so many times mum just open an Etsy shop but she's like oh I just like doing it for you know for the love of it so she never will and also I mean yeah Probably be a bit too much pressure just for one person. Anyway, I don't know when I'll see you again after Christmas, so I just wanted to show you those things. And yeah, wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Um, and I hope that you're all safe and as happy as you can be this year. I know it's gonna be very different for a lot of us, but you know, I don't even wanna know what to say. Um, I just hope everyone's in as best a situation they can be in and that you all keep safe and well. Um, and I will see you at some point after Christmas. Mwah.